life can come at you fast. And you'll be Chancellor and Liz Truss will be Prime Minister this time next month. Absolutely, 100%. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I met the former Chancellor earlier today. I was incredibly sorry to lose him. Today, I have asked Jeremy Hunt to become the new Chancellor. You, like Kwasi Kwarteng, might be thinking, what the hell just happened? Well, what just happened was, is that Liz Truss has not only ditched her Chancellor, but also ditched the growth plan, or much of it, to which she said that there was absolutely no alternative, the opponents of which she called the anti-growth coalition. And now so much of it has gone. A single higher rate of income tax of 40%. Gone. Next year's planned increase in corporation tax will be cancelled. Also gone. Some of the tax cuts, we're told, will remain, for now at least, but many Conservative MPs are sat left looking at the wreckage, wondering that without the growth plan, without that central point of the Liz Truss Premiership, what is the point of Liz Truss? So why has she done it? Why has she ditched her Chancellor and the thing that she said she wanted to do? Well, part of it was the politics. Too many MPs were resisting it. But partly, and most worryingly, it was the markets. And they were effectively saying that they didn't think the trust plan was credible and charging the British government higher and higher rates of interest than they normally would as a result of that lack of credibility. But here's the really disturbing thing for Liz Truss. We can't even be sure that losing the Chancellor, losing most of the economic plan, will be enough for the markets. The early indications are they're already going in the wrong direction. And the only thing left is her. She's traded in her Chancellor. She's traded in her economic policy. If they keep coming for this policy, the only thing left to feed the walls is the Prime Minister herself. And remember this too, that although this will be written up as a humiliation for Liz Truss, for Kwasi Kwarteng, for the government, for the Conservative Party, it is all of those things. But most of all, it is a humiliation for all of us, for Britain. A day, a week, a trio of weeks when Britain wrestled with the markets. The markets wrestled back and they won. News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast.